Today was the second annual March for Life in Connecticut, and it was a huge success. Last year we had a tremendous turnout, and this year we had even more. It was a really tremendous event. This is something that we started a year ago to bring people of all faiths together, talk about life, protecting it from inception to natural end, uh, and to realize that the battle now is here at state capitals in Hartford and throughout the country. Connecticut is one of the most pro-abortion states in the entire country. People don't understand how many pro-lifers there actually are in Connecticut. There is no pro-life movement without the Knights of Columbus. You look out at this crowd of people and what you will see is a sea of Knights of Columbus signs. The Knights are incredibly helpful. They are organizing buses from all across the state, making sure that people in Connecticut have access to come to the Connecticut March for Life, to be a voice for the voiceless here in Hartford. Knights of Columbus and their parishes were responsible for organizing about 25 buses throughout the state. Brought about a thousand people just on those buses alone. We're here to make sure that they're supported throughout every stage of life. I marched because my mom decided to choose life at the age of 15. I marched because I reject the culture of, of death. I marched because I want to make Connecticut the most pro-life state in the country. I march because it's important and to show other people that they're not alone and that together we can get so much done.